What's going on all my pre-healthcare professionals? I hope that you are having a wonderful day. We're going to continue on with our ATIT's question review series and today we're going to be discussing DNA, RNA, and genetics. Question one. Which of the following lists the four nitrogenous bases found in RNA? Is it A, alanine, cysteine, theranine, and glycine? B, guanine, uracil, adenine, cysteine? C, adenine, thymine, guanine, cysteine, or D, cysteine, uracil, guanine, thymine. And the correct answer is B, guanine, uracil, adenine, and cysteine. When RNA transcribes a condone from DNA during transcription, thymine is replaced with uracil. Thymine is less prone to mutation, which makes it a good storage vehicle for DNA. Uracil is more flexible, which makes it more suitable of its temporary role in RNA. Question two. DNA is composed of which of the following substances? Is it A, nucleotides, B, cells, C, neurons, or D, proteins? This one's a little bit easier. It's A, nucleotides. Understanding the role of DNA is important in understanding questions about it. DNA stores the genetic information necessary to creating living matter and beings. Choices B, C, and D are all created by DNA and RNA. DNA itself is composed of nucleotides. During which of the following processes is tRNA active? Is it A, translation, B, transcription, C, meiosis, or D, mitosis? And the correct answer is A, translation. Transfer RNA called tRNA is needed during translation. It recognizes the specific condone in mRNA needed to create a specific amino acid. There are 64 different possible condones and 20 amino acids, so only the appropriate tRNA will unlock the code and create proteins. Amino acids are building blocks of which of the following? Is it A, blood, B, neurons, C, proteins, or D, cell walls? And the correct answer is C, proteins. Proteins are the engines of cellular function and thus function. In the form of enzymes, they manage the cell's metabolic processes. DNA and RNA through transcription and translation build the amino acids necessary to create proteins. Without proteins, the other aspects of living material blood, neurons, and cell walls just wouldn't exist. DNA uses hydrogen bonds to hold the purines and pyrimidines together. How many hydrogen bonds are there between cysteine and guanine? Is it A, 1, B, 2, C, three or D four. And the correct answer is C three. There are only a certain number of possibilities of base pairs due to the unique nature of the hydrogen bonds that hold them together. Cysteine bonds with guanine using three hydrogen bonds, adenine and thymine require only two hydrogen bonds as do adenine and uracil in RNA. Purines and pyrimidines are nitrogenous bases that allow DNA to form its double helix shape via hydrogen bonding. Which of the following are the complementary base pairs that form DNA? Is it A, T to C, and A to G? B, A to C, and T to G? C, G to C, and A to T? Or D, A to U, and G to C? And the correct answer is C, G to C, and A to T. Base pairs combine in only a few ways because of the unique nature of the hydrogen bonds that hold them together. Cysteine bonds with guanine with three hydrogen bonds. Iodine and thymine require only two hydrogen bonds as does imine and uracil and RNA. These base pairs are typically written using their letter symbols, G to C and A to T. Which of the following is used during the transcription phase of protein synthesis? Is it A, snippets, B, tRNA, C, rRNA, or D, mRNA? 
And the correct answer is D, mRNA. Messenger RNA, called mRNA, is created during transcription. It functions to carry the genetic code to the ribosomes for protein formation. It holds the genetic information in three base pair sequences called condoms. Which of the following is inherited only from the mother? Is it A, phenotype, B, genotype, C, lysosomal DNA, or D, mitochondrial DNA? And the correct answer is D, mitochondrial DNA. Mitochondrial DNA is inherited only from the mother and almost all organisms that reproduce through sexual reproduction. Sperm cells contain mitochondrial DNA, but the egg cell's processes destroy it. DNA and RNA share almost identical nitrogenous bases. Which nitrogenous base is found only in RNA? Is it A, thymine, B, adenine, C, uracil, or D, cysteine? And the correct answer is C, uracil. While DNA uses thymine as a pyrimidine to bond with adenine, RNA uses uracil. Thymine is less prone to mutation, which makes it a good storage vehicle for DNA. Uracil is more flexible, which makes it more suited for a temporary role in RNA. The other three nitrogenous bases are used in both DNA and RNA. So if you look at our next question, we have a gene, TAC, GGT, GTA, ACT. What is the mRNA portion of that gene? During transcription, messenger RNA carries the code from the genes to the ribosomes. To do this, the RNA polymers must add matching RNA nucleotides to the complementary DNA sequence. Looking at the gene sequence above, which of the following reflects the correct mRNA sequence? Is it A, A, T, G, C, C, A, C, A, T, T, G, A, B, C, G, U, A, A, C, A, C, G, G, U, G, C, G, U, C, A, A, G, A, G, U, U, C, G, or D. A U G C C A C A U U G A. And the correct answer is D A U G C C A C A U U G A. The discovery of base pairs by Watson and Crick proved that they were only certain combinations of nitrogenous bases possible. This is the meaning of the term complementary to the question. So, for example, guanine always bonds with cysteine. The three possible bonds are G to C, A to T, and A to U. In the example, the first codon is TAC, meaning that the complementary codon must be AUG. For the rest of the sequence, GGT, GTA, ACT, the complementary nitrogenous bases are CCA, CAU, UGA. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.